Hello viewers, we'll be going over W2I Kuro, and this video will be going over my trade idea of the week and how I developed that idea. So let's start off with the technical analysis. We're currently up 1.9% on the 1 hour chart. We have now approached the positive MACD and we are nearing overbought RSI and we're resting along the 9 moving average at this blue line. If we expand out to the 4 hour chart, what we have here is we still are on positive MACD and we're not near overbought RSI and we start to see a slight divergence, the 9 moving onto the 18 moving the blue and purple lines respectively. If we examine the daily chart, at the moment we are quite near the 200 day moving average, this green line, and that will be my first immediate resistance and that is around a price of $42.80. And as for support, if we do reverse and head down lower, I do consider the 9 and 18 day moving averages, the blue and purple lines respectively, to act as our next support and that is around a price of $41.21. So quite a narrow range at the moment. So as for the daily MACD, we see a slight convergence in play and we have not reached to overbought RSI yet. So the trade idea of the week, I'll be trading USL. So for my trade idea, for my long position, my position will be less than 1% of my portfolio and my entry for my long on USL will be $14.70. That is the range right here, slightly below the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. And my sell target for my long position is $16.31 and my stop loss is $14.20. On the other hand, if I do decide to short USL, my entry will be $16.84. That is around the range right here, slightly below the 200-day moving average, this green line. And my sell target for that short position is $15.23, and my stop loss is $17.42. So how did I develop these trade ideas? These ideas come from the day-by-day -day probability model the range and the bullish bearish ratios from this model right here which is available in the link below so do check it out as we progress to the fifth day or a week of trading we have a 33 percent chance for WTI crude oil to climb between 0 to 7 percent and a 17 percent chance for it to climb between 7 percent to say 14 percent on to the downside we have a 50 percent chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 7 percent so which one of these six models we should use as a reference? If we examine the line graph right here, the blue lines are current trend and the line overlapping it happens to be the best match. So right here we have our current trend and the trend below is the one that we found on the line graph above. And this trend dates back to December 31st, 2018 to March 28th, 2019. So let's begin comparing both of the trends. So on the current trend, we have one, two, three, four, five, six points. And on the trend in question, we also have one, two, three, four, five, six points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So again, the model that we just examined was December 31st, 2018 to March 28th, 2019. So back then, we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, and five days out. And back then, WTI crude oil continued to climb higher. Back then, it climbed around 3.6%. If we examine the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation right here of 33% chance to climb between 0 to 7%. If we examine closer on the technical performance of each trend, so the trend that we just found and examined, and we have our current trend right here. So back then, it was down 1.4% from monthly high, compare that to the current trend, also down 1.4% from monthly high. And for the monthly low, back then it was up 18%, compare that to the current trend, up 20%. As for the 10 simple moving average, back then it was down 30 base points, compare that to the current trend, up 40 base points. And for the 20 day moving average, back then it was up 90 base points, compare that to the current trend, up 1.2%. And as for the 50-day moving average, back then it was up 4% compared to that to the current trend, which is up 
there are slight technical differences among the two trends. One is the 10 simple moving average, so do keep that in mind. And again, these models are available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.